and welcome to Adventure Kyle's! I'm Kyle! And the other Kyle's not here. Today we're going to be working on an adventure called The Donkeys of Bull Park, as the animation showed you. Uh, as you can guess, there's going to be all kinds of interesting stuff happening here today, and uh, I feel that this is a small enough adventure that uh, I don't really need to have the other Kyle here to help explain it. Uh, so, because everything is pretty straightforward, what, what was going on. So, this was actually kind of a side stop. It wasn't really an intended destination so much. Uh, we were at the nearby uh, UC Stanford, uh, and we decided that we were going to stop off over here before we get lunch, uh, because it was within, you know, reasonable distance of it. So, uh, we went to Bull Park. It's in Palo Alto, south of San Francisco. And uh, the very first thing that's interesting about this is that this is just like a suburban park. It's in the middle of a big neighborhood. And uh, uh, they had this big sign at the front of it that said, Bull Park, and it had some donkeys on it. So clearly the people in the area knew about the donkeys, and this wasn't like some small like hole-in-the-wall type thing. So we were kind of excited by that when we got there. Now what we weren't expecting is everything else. <laughs> so uh, basically we get to the park, and they have this farm on the park and it's got a bunch of chickens on it and one of the first things I was kind of mesmerized by was that the chickens were just kind of roaming around the park it's just like they're everywhere and uh, I was just kind of you know taken aback by this because I'm from the city and I'm not really like I haven't really seen too many uh, farm animals and stuff like that up close so this is kind of a weird thing for me but uh, um, basically we get there and we're wandering around trying to find out where the donkeys are going to be when suddenly one of the chickens starts going crazy and running away. And then suddenly a schnauzer appears. I think it's a schnauzer, it's a small dog, don't correct me, don't worry about it. Uh, there's a small dog that chases a chicken and the pursuit ensues, right? So uh, uh, this chicken is just running all over the place trying to get away from this dog. And what's weird is my first initial reaction was like, oh cool, I happen to be filming at the time, let's catch this. It's like this weird like moment where I didn't really realize that this was happening like this is actually like you know it's it's like um uh i forget what the the concept is but basically like when you are filming something you kind of have this like layer of removal between you and and what's going on around you so a lot of times people will continue filming even though they're like in danger and it's because they just don't realize they're in danger they're too busy looking at what they're filming so um basically i wasn't in danger but the chicken was and i wasn't doing anything about it uh, for about maybe 45 seconds or so. So the first video shows the initial like part of the chase that I caught on camera. Uh, it shows the schnauzer chasing through there and as you guys are seeing and uh, I cut at that moment and I'm like I need to run up there and get a better view because I'm still being an idiot. And uh, reality sunk in for me right after something absolutely crazy happened. Uh, the schnauzer is still chasing the chicken down the path and then suddenly the chicken just jumps up and flies over the dog and goes the other direction causing the dog to like skid out and all that kind of stuff. But the moment I saw that, something clicked in my head and I realized that chicken is actually in trouble because it's doing some pretty ballsy, very, very dangerous stunts there trying to get away from the dog. I mean, the dog could have very easily just, boom, collided in with him in midair and that would have been it. So the, the chicken's getting desperate. So at that point it's like, cut the filming, we have to go into action here. So, me and the other Kyle both get in gear on this one, and the other Kyle, I think, tries to chase after the chicken, and I chase after the dog, because I'm thinking, get the aggressor out of the situation. I actually don't remember who was... I know I was chasing the dog because I caught the dog. I don't know what the other Kyle was doing. I think he was trying to get the chicken. And, uh, I catch the dog, and of course I'm wearing a white t-shirt, so I got a bunch of little paw prints all over my chest now. But I bring it back to the lady, and then something really interesting happens. Hold on while I try not to sneeze. Red alert. All hands stand oh. at battle stations. That is like the worst feeling in the world. Oh. Oh, gosh. Carry on. All right. I can do this. Whew. Okay. So I bring the, the dog, I was going to say chicken, the dog back to the lady who lost it. And uh, I, you know, handed it back to her. And then she got mad at me which is weird. <laughs> I thought I had nothing to do with this other than trying to get the dog out of everything. And uh, she explained to me that because I was standing out there, uh, the dog wanted to come meet me because it's a people person, and that I shouldn't have gotten in the way because if I had, uh, hadn't been there, it wouldn't have tried to chase the chickens because it got distracted by the chickens. Blah, 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 nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. 
Um, basically, she was grasping at straws to try and explain the situation, and that happens a lot, so I wasn't really worried about it. I just told her, like, be just, just be glad that your dog didn't kill a chicken, because then you'd have a problem with the farm lady who actually had just come out of the house at that point. And then they argued for a little bit, but I got everything straightened out, so that was all good to go. Um, so <laughs> the it was just kind of an interesting little happenstance moment for us, because we just happened to be there. We were 400 miles away from home at that point. Uh, you know, and we just happened to be at the right place at the right time to stop this from happening. Because I, I promise you, there was nobody else in the area that was going to be able to help out. Everyone else was too far away, and, or they were, like, too engrossed in whatever they were doing to try and help. It happens a lot, actually, that people tend to be bystanders more than anything else. So, uh, more power to us for actually having done something about it. So, we actually go on now, because we want to see the donkeys, and we go find them. And it actually didn't take us that long. We just kind of walked for, like, another five minutes, and... There they were, just kind of out in the open there. So uh, it was kind of a great moment for us because it's like, you know, we just kind of had overcome this little obstacle and then we found our victory, you know, uh, goal there. And uh, uh, the very first thing that happens when we walk up to the fence is they both immediately turn because there's only two of them left. There used to be three. It was Mickey, Perry, and Niner. And Mickey died a while back, I think. And now, so we got Perry and Niner left over. And those are the ones that you see. And I think it's Perry that's the one that's based on the Shrek character, or the other way around, that the Shrek character is based on. So, um, the very first thing that happens is they both kind of simultaneously turn to us, and they're like this, and they walk towards us. And I was kind of like, this is cool, they're coming right up to us. And so I'm like filming the whole thing, and every time I watch this, I think I know exactly when they're going to stop getting closer, but they just keep getting closer and closer and closer, uh, until they're like right on top of you. So it's kind of like a neat little shot for me. Um, now, I was too engrossed in trying to film to actually pet the donkey, so the one that you see petting it is the other Kyle. And lucky him, because that was the only opportunity that we had the entire time that we were there to try and pet them. Uh, as soon as they realized we didn't have any food for them, they just left us alone. Like, uh, it's funny, we have like a, I think we have a video, I'll, I'll put it up there if, if I can, uh, that shows us trying to like call the donkeys like they're a dog, like we're whistling at them, like, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and uh, it's just kind of like a hilarious moment for me because I realize like I'm trying to whistle to a donkey like who <laughs> how many people have had a chance to do that you know try and call a donkey over like that uh, it may not seem like it's that significant but for somebody who's like lived in a city his whole life you know in suburbia and all that um, it, it's just kind of like a weird moment it's like when we were doing the ostrich thing but that's another adventure so um, overall this was a really fun thing for us to do I'd recommend doing it uh, if you're in the area or if you happen to be passing through Palo Alto uh, because it's just you don't know how long you're gonna have a chance to see these donkeys and kind of get like a, a moment of like cinema history you know uh, with you and um, at the same time you know I wouldn't say drive 400 miles to be there because we didn't even do that we were there for totally other you know different reasons and uh, it, it was worth it though. It was a lot of fun and I'm very glad that we happened to be there to stop the whole little chase thing going on there. So, um, you know, definitely take a chance uh, to go out there and, and see things and have some fun or just like go to your own like petting zoos or whatever, you know, a farm and, and, and just kind of explore and stuff because that's, that's what this is all about. Just trying to get people to kind of interact with their communities. Um, and, you know, maybe you'll also be there to help stop something bad from happening. So. Uh, uh, that's really all I have for you today. This is a really short adventure. Uh, I imagine it'll be like 10 minutes when I'm done. So uh, as far as adventures go, that's like really the target time, like 10 to 15 minutes. But uh, yeah, keep hanging in there and, and uh, you know, follow along to what we do because we have a lot more coming for you. And I really hope that we can have more of a like, you know, regular schedule for uploading and putting new videos up for you. Um, but you know, school gets crazy, life gets crazy, stuff gets in the way. You guys have all heard it before from other people, so. Uh, hang in there, and more stuff is to come. So that's really all I got for you today. Uh, really, I'll, I'll just see you guys in the next adventure. Um, until then, adventure is out there. Oh, is that copyrighted? I shouldn't have said that. Oh, well. <laughs>